Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another video post of Confessions with an Agent. Things to think about as a business owner. Uh, we are in a eight part series. Um, I discussed yesterday um, delegating growth. We did a two part series on that specific topic by itself. Today we're going to be talking about service, the way of life. It's going to be short and straight to the point, but I do truly believe that service, no matter what product that you have, it all comes down to being able to service the person that's going to actually purchase the product or service. You know, what I like to do is kind of think of myself as a customer, how I feel when I'm going through that transaction or how I'm engaged in that product or service. Um... So I kind of put myself, like I said, put myself in that position to kind of make sure that when I'm offering that product or service, that's how I'm going to feel. I don't want to feel bombarded or like forced to do something. Um, I, I don't want to breathe that kind of culture in our office. So, you know, it all to me, it all starts with your mission. Um, your mission has to be in line with your goals and your your vision for the agency so I'll, I'll give you um a piece of my vision um it's in line with state farms uh mission but the agency is kind of you know the same concept um to help you manage the risk of everyday life recover from the unexpected and realize your dreams by implementing what i call the smarter slight edge goal system in insurance and financial services. You know, I aim to create a referable experience. You know, that's what we call our care system. Um, and it all comes down to our core service. That's the thing that's gonna, in essence, attract people. That is our why. Why you come to us for a product or service. It's my why of why I'm doing this, you know. You know, you have to actually figure out why you're doing something and be able to make sure that your core services are in line with that because that's what's attracting people to you. Uh, what I call our customer care service is the delivery of that system. Um, that's how the customers are treated and the interactions they have while conducting business. You know, that's how we dazzle the people. You know, that's how we beat expectations. Um, and we do that by friendly, caring service, flexibility, and problem solving, and making sure that we can recover from any mistakes that we did. We just own those. So when you think about those five key components, or I'm sorry, four key components, with two of them being your core service and your process, that is how um, you think about the service and the way I think of it as the way of life. Um, if you can do that, then everything within your actual, I'm sorry, I'm reading some of my notes. Um, everything that you do within your actual business is going to be in line with that. So again, it all starts with your, your mission statement realized from your vision. And those goals are in line with your core service or product that end up giving you your process to get to your customers. And that way that you service your customers, that process that you have, your onboarding or retaining process or your referral programs, those those processes that you have in place are, are the things that's going to attract the customers to you. So making sure that your team is implementing a service first only mindset is, is key and vital to survival of your business. So I just wanted to share those little tidbits that I had um, of service because um, I truly believe service is the key to every business. Without service, there is nothing else. You know, people talk about Apple and other such products, but really you're not only buying the brand, but you're actually buying the service um, of Apple that they give you. You know, the phones are great. There might be other phones that might be better, but you're actually the core product or the core service is actually the thing that brought you there. 
but the process of how they implement things is what actually retains the customer. Um, so you, when you put your mind in that kind of that 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 framework, you know things become a little easier for you. So again, you know service first. That's got to be the way of life for your business. So tomorrow, I think we'll talk uh, a little bit about the types of liability your business should have, depending on your type of business, uh, the things that you need or are recommended. Um, so we'll talk about that tomorrow. Till next time, remember, reviews, comments, LinkedIn, Messenger, Yelp, uh, Facebook, everything, um, phone numbers, email addresses, websites, insurewithlarry.com. Till next time, stay focused.